Taylor Melhoff on the run up the left footed side wind kicker. This is a, a, put, a short kick end over end returnable for Albert Young. 5, 10, 15, up the near hash, across the 20, spins away from a couple of tacklers, then is drilled as he crosses the 25. Chandler stands up at tight end, goes in motion. Herb, Herb Grigsby and Clinton Solomon are the wideouts. Here's a big hole through left guard and tackle, and it closed down in a hurry. Stelmacher, the safety, knocks down Albert Young. The ball just shy of the 30-yard line for the Hawks. On play action, Drew rolls out to his right. Fires ahead. Nice catch by Moiaki, but he doesn't get much as he's crossed the 30 to the 32 or 3. The ball was a little bit over lead. Moiaki reached out and snared it with one hand. Third down and call it a long four for the Hawks. Tate is straight back to pass. The protection's good. He fires across the field, has a man open, and incomplete. Herb Grigsby got turned around, couldn't come up with it. Fourth down and four for the Hawkeyes from their own 32-yard uh, line. He stepped Punt and lobs a nice high hanger. Brandon Williams wants to return this one. Grabs it at his own 28. Crosses the 30 and is twisted down at the 33-34 yard line. That's where Wisconsin will put it in play first and 10. Chad Greenway downfield. Averaging just over 40 and he's a good uh, coffin corner guy too. Here's Hocko in the face of a blitz. Gets rid of it to Brandon Williams. Cross midfield. He comes. Big play on first down. Picking on Antoine Allen again. First and 10. The ball at the 47. Again, out of the eye. Here's the delayed handoff to Calhoun. Runs left, cuts it back to his right, still on his feet. Ran out of another uh, tackle, this missed tackle. This one by Matt Kroll. But he's got some giddy up. Second down and short. They can call almost anything here. They run the draw. Calhoun close to the first down before he's necktied and brought back by Abdul Hodge. Let's see where they spot him. And the slickers, as Eddie said, bought the Iowa 36. And Stocko's going to throw on first down. And he's run into, just as he cocked his arm, Ryan Bain bull rushed from the nose guard spot, took the guard right into Stocko and knocked him down for a big loss. The ball all the way back at the 45, a loss of nearly 10. Second down, 19, and a pounding rainstorm right now here at Camp Randall. Stocko, he doesn't mind. He's going to go back and throw. Looks right, comes back to the left to a wide open Brandon White. And he's forced out of bounds at the Iowa 35. So they get they get the nine back that they lost, plus one Chad Greenway. With as slick as it is down there with the rain, you know, the, he's been beaten a couple times, and that's normally bad footing. Now they're going to look to throw here on third down. They flood that secondary with receivers. Now they swing a pass out on the right flat. First down, 25, 24-yard line. Ed Miles missed a tackle there, and Wisconsin gets the first down. Oh, boys, Kurt is not going to like that. Wisconsin. Keeps the drive moving toward the Hawkeye goal line. First and 10 at the Iowa 23. They run the draw to Calhoun. He bounces it outside. Man, oh, man, did uh, Ed Miles get held big time there and no flag. Here's Stocko. They wing Calhoun this time to the right empty backfield. They fake the, uh, the reverse to the receiver. They throw the screen pass to Calhoun. He's got the first down down to the 11-yard line. Up the near sideline he went. That's a pretty-looking play. Well, that's the screen pass we were talking about in the pregame show. Final home game of the year. They're throwing everything at the Hawkeye defense right now, and it's working for the most part. Now here comes the slot receiver end around. Big hole inside the five, down to the three. Brandon Williams, and he turned the corner and ran up. He just jetted off. Marcus Pascal saved the touchdown, at least for the moment, with a minute 30 to go first quarter. Yep. Daniels, the tight end, goes in motion. Stocko turns, hands off to Calhoun, and he goes over the pylon, or no? They, yard out, look okay, they, they forced him out at the one. He'll be very close. Good play by Chad Greenway. Wisconsin with three wideouts in this formation. Cal to pass Stocko. The Hawks blitz. Stocko gets rid of it. Up in the air. Incomplete. Oh, what a play. What a play. Miguel by Merrick play. stripped Owen Daniels of the ball. He had it in his hands and had a hold of it with both hands. And before his feet hit the ground, Merrick knocked the ball out of his hands. His long field goal is from 46 yards, so this is a chip shot from the 14. It's on the way, and it is right through. So the 24-yard field goal by Melhoff looks a whole lot better than seven points. Boy, that, that tight end moving is so big. With Wisconsin up 10 to nothing on the Hawkeyes in the closing minute of the first period. This kick greets Albert Young at the two, and he runs straight up the middle of the field, runs through a couple Badgers, then is tripped up, hauled down just as he approached the 20-yard line. 
Yeah, they say he doesn't have breakaway speed. Well, he looks pretty fast to me. Tate on a rollout finds Hinkle at the 25-yard line. He's tackled immediately. Sure tackling by the Badgers. Roderick Rogers there. Gain of five there, though. Nice play on first down. Last play of the first quarter coming up. Here's Albert Young. Goes inside, then cuts it back to the left. Not much running room against uh, a Wisconsin team that you're supposed to be able to move the ball on. Albert with two yards there. And two, the Hawks with two tight ends. One of those, Moyaki in motion. One wide out is Clinton Solomon. On the play action fake, a rollout by Drew Tate. He's going to run for the first down. Gets a nice block. Gets the first down. Ryan Majerus with a nice block. Ball just across the 30-yard line, and the Hawkeye drive continues. Three wide outs. Hinkle is in the game. Here's a quick throw out to the slot receiver, Grigsby. Gets a block downfield, but only momentarily from Andy Brodell. And Herb runs upfield for about five yards. Wide to the right is Brodell. Grigsby's in the slot with him to the wide side of the field. The Hawkeyes run to the short side, and Albert Young slips and falls as he made his cutback. Tate in the gun. Straight back to pass. Now he's flushed out to his right. Throws on the run, and it's caught. Across the 40 at the 42. Great catch by Scotty Chandler as he laid out for it. Dantez Sanders draped all over him. Good throw, good catch. That is a gutsy play there by Tate. He was getting a lot of heat. Was able to run to his right. 13 and a half minutes to go. First half, Wisconsin 10, Iowa nothing. Straight back to pass is Tate on play action. He goes deep this time. He's got Brodell out there. Overthrew him, though. And we got holding on Grigsby. This is going to be a first down. He was getting ready to come across underneath. And he just kind of disappeared. Young, the lone running back. Here comes Albert. Looks inside right guard. Stop and go move. Has the first down or very close to it. Across the 40. Down to the Badger 36-yard line. And if it, they do give him that spot there, it will be a first down run of 10 yards. Uh, he is so good on, to, in waiting on the play to develop. And 10 to nothing. The Hawks trying to answer the Wisconsin field goal with a score of their own. On play action, Tate looks right. Now throws right. And oh, he actually had... Green open. 12.45 to go. First half. Here's Young on a cutback. Goes right, left, then back to the right and swarmed under by Badger tacklers. Third down, seven at the Wisconsin 31-yard line. Tate on a quick slant to Hinkle. First down and more. He's at the 20, inside the 20 of the 18. He almost broke that one. There's the Ed Hinkle we've been missing. Well, that's that uh, bubble screen to the outside, and they don't run that play when Eddie's not around. If you remember... But, of course, Iowa needing a touchdown. 10-0 Wisconsin. Here's Tate. Three-step drop. Fires to the right side. Dropped by Another Clinton drop. Solomon. My goodness, Clinton. I just uh, got to say, I think he's been the biggest disappointment for me here in the last half of the season. I don't know whether that ankle that he hurt is still bothering him. So it's second down and 10 from the Wisconsin 19. Tate back to pass. Now some pressure. Gets rid of it. Over the middle. And it is caught. By Hinkle, Give inside the 15 at the 14. Sure hands, Eddie Hinkle. He's holding against the Hawkeyes, which um, oh, I probably didn't see will that. take us out of field goal range. Now it's second down and 20. The ball back to the 29 of Wisconsin. Drew's got a throw. Quick drop. Square out to Hinkle, inside the 20 to the 17. Oh, he is so valuable in this mean offense. To tell you. But you'd love to see a touchdown here with 11-13 to play. First half. 10 to nothing, Wisconsin. Out of the shotgun, Drew retreats, deep drop, steps up in the pocket, and the pass is deflected and then caught by Grigsby. Nope, they wave it off. And here it comes. Snap, spot, kick on the way. Plenty of leg strength, and it's right through. Good to see Kyle come back strong. Iowa's on the board. It's Wisconsin 10, and the Hawkeyes 3, 11 minutes to go. We weren't out that late, that late last night, were we? <laughs> There's Slicker's run up and the kick by Kyle is sailing to Brandon Williams right at the goal line. He's going to bring it out. Look out, he's dangerous. 5, 10, 15, 20, wrapped up nicely by the Hawks as he crosses the 20-yard line and he's thrown backward. A couple of tight ends in this uh, jumbo package for the Badgers. Straight back to pass is Stocko. Fires over the left. It's almost intercepted and then caught by Wisconsin. Chad Greenway with excellent coverage on Brandon Williams. Got the deflection, almost came up with a pick as he was falling to the ground. Must have, looks like he might have yeah. sprained an ankle a or a knee, knee or, or something. Yeah. He hurt something while he was running downfield on that field turf. Daniels, the tight end, is winged to the left. The eye, the tight end, and it's Calhoun. No, that's not Calhoun, that's Booker Stanley. He gets the first down across the 35 
to the 36 yard line running around the left end the tailback so Calhoun's just taking a series off here comes Stanley again trying to get around the left end and he's jammed up this time and the Hawkeyes throw him back for a loss of about five yards good pursuit good uh, straddling uh, of that play there by Iowa as they strung it out down the line of scrimmage or splits wide left Brandon Williams and Brandon White to the right Stocko's looking that way plenty of time now he's going to try and run for it. oh there's another another hold this one on Alex Canellis Joe Thomas reached out and grabbed Canellis but no flag Chad Greenway gets Stocko on the ground after he ran upfield for about five and Joe's a, well he's an all Big Ten tackle I guess he he's cut a break there but Kirk Ferentz is really unhappy about the non call third down at 11 Stocko fake short throws over the middle to the tight end Daniels it's gonna be first down he's still going across midfield gets the first down by about three or four yards into Iowa territory at the 48 and the drive stays alive with 7.59 to go here in the first half Stanley tries to string it out again around left end and fights his way to the 45 a gain of about three 10 to 3 Daniels the tight end in motion and Stocko hands off on the draw to Stanley filling the hole as Abdul Hodge a loss of one there very good job by Abdul Hodge that was a kind of a delayed trap play third down and eight Calhoun the lone setback they got the bunch receiver package to the right Stocko's rolling that way looking looking now he fires on the run it's caught and shy of the first down by three or four yards is Calhoun Mike Follett with the ankle tackle on Calhoun again excellent downfield coverage by the Hawkeyes there for Stocko to throw underneath so Ken DeBush is on to try and pin the Hawkeyes in their own red zone and it's a line drive I, I don't know if he wanted to hit it that way but it goes into the end zone DeBush who's very very good the Hawks with the ball Drew Tate with two tight ends and single receivers each way to work with turns hands the ball nope play action fake to Albert Young Drew wants to throw on first down now dumps it off to Albert Young everybody was covered downfield so he checked down to Albert and still got six or seven he's caught three passes here so far this afternoon second down call it three Albert Young tries to run through a hole on the left side and not much there good job by Wisconsin and one yard almost two yards required for the first down they give it to the fullback Bush and he's going nowhere Hawkeyes tried to fool Wisconsin's defensive front by handing off to little used Tom Bush and you can't hang that one on Bush there's just no blocking there have to punt the ball away fence to maker Wisconsin showing they were coming after it and it forced Andy to kick it a little quicker than he wanted to and it hits at the uh, 40 yard line and rolls dead at the 37 not a good kick by Andy fence to maker he's been pretty consistent plenty of football to go yet though as the Hawkeyes play defense and John Stocko back to pass for Wisconsin on first down it's a wide open Brandon Williams across the 40 sure tackle by Antoine Allen long count by Stocko here comes the give to Brian Calhoun and he's wrapped up by Brian Madison a heck of a play by Brian Madison just as Calhoun tried to square his shoulders and go upfield Madison was draped all over him no gain Brandon White goes in motion Stocko rolls left throws left and he has a wide open Jonathan Orr. I mean wide open across midfield of the 49 of Iowa another third down conversion by the Wisconsin offense well there wasn't anything fancy to that that was maximum protection in that trench grow up down there but it is a first down and painful for the moment here's the draw handoff to Calhoun up oh, he throws it back to the quarterback Stocko throwing downfield and incomplete Terrific. intended for Jonathan Orr. what recovery by Jovan right. Johnson sore hamstring and all ball just across midfield for Wisconsin three wide out Stocko's going to throw again here's a good rush by Follett now they force Stocko out of the pocket he's running to his right gets back to the line of scrimmage and then is don't go on it Hawkeye bounds and we have a late flag he's hitting the guy out of bounds it's a 15 yard penalty yeah, it's going to be on the freshman Ryan Bain Wow that really cripples you because Wisconsin is inching into field goal range even though there is a stiff win in the Badgers face first and ten at the Iowa 37 Stocko throws to the end zone he's down there looking for Jonathan Orr and it's incomplete boy he just dropped it flat yeah, dropped he it. caught it with one hand Antoine Allen and that was a, a down and in and then a reversal to the sideline and then up the sideline this time Brandon White splits wide to the left single receivers for Wisconsin White is uh, split to the right the handoff goes to Calhoun and he is crunched by Mitch King right at the line of scrimmage you could hear that pop up here Mitch King came through free and clear now there's a guy having a good football game third and 15 the ball back at the Wisconsin 42 
And under two minutes to go, first half, 10-3, Wisconsin. Stocko's going to the end again. Overshoots the intended receiver, Orr. That time he was jammed nicely by Miguel Merrick and well covered by Antoine Allen. Wisconsin has won the battle of field position here in the second quarter despite uh, kicking into a, or driving into a wind. Here's the punt by DeBush, and it's out of bounds. Nicely done at the three. That's what he was trying to do last time, trying to line drive it toward the pylon. The Wisconsin crowd getting into uh, the act now, vocally speaking, of course. Here's a handoff to Albert Young as he's got Tommy Bush out in front of him. And the blocking of uh, Tommy Bush allows Albert to get two or three, a little more operable room out front with one second to go. Oh, they just do get the snap off. Albert Young on a cutback move, drives across the 10-yard line over left guard and center and gets to the 12, so he's close yep. to the first down. And Wisconsin coaches are starting for the locker room. I, yeah, they're I'm a little confused. Yeah, I'm a little that, surprised but... by that. Ten seconds to go. The Hawks won't run another play, and that'll be it. Halftime, Iowa trailing Wisconsin 10-3. They try to replace from that veteran defense a year ago, uh, and a lot of the new guys have been hurt most of the year, or at least beat up. But the Hawkeyes could get only three points in that first half. Here's the kick by Schlicker, and Brandon Williams on the return. Gets to the outside. We have a late flag, and down he goes at the 23-yard line. Yeah, that's up. going to be half the distance from where that flag is laying. Boy, and I tell you, this is such a big series here. If you pin them, then you've got that field advantage all through the third quarter. Punting into the wind. You got it. First down play, and they run it. They give to Calhoun. He stretches it out to the left side and goes nowhere. Maybe got a yard. Excellent pursuit down the line by the Hawkeyes. Abdul Hodge. Splitting wide left is Brandon Williams. Jonathan Orr to the right. One running back is Calhoun. Stocko retreats to it nearly his uh, own goal line and throws it away. He had Mitch King coming in a hurry, and he had to throw it away. Just uh, threw it in the general uh, direction of Owen Daniels, but he was covered by Abdul Hodge. Three wide outs and one running back. Back to pass is Stocko. Hawks get some pressure on him. Stocko has to run up the middle of the field, trying to get to the first down chain. I don't think he got there. Where's his knee down? Oh, it's close, so close. Oh, oh it my. is close, and if they give him that spot, I think he's got it. Oh. Hawks got good pressure, but the linebackers were dropping. But Wisconsin now has some room to operate. They send the tight end Daniels in motion. Stocko turns, gives to Brian Calhoun, runs through a sliver of a hole and gets two or three across the 20 to the 21. Well, no, he's not in there. I got 47, look like 43. That okay, it's me. Mitch King. Here's Stocko on play action. Drops back to his right, throws down the middle of the field, has a wide open receiver. Oh, and Brandon Williams dropped it. That was a touchdown. That was a touchdown. And Brandon Williams, their best receiver, was so excited he didn't look it in. You can bet they'll try and come back to that at some point. Here's Stocko. Looks left, throws back to his right, has Williams open again, but this time the coverage was better, and he had to throw it over his head. Fourth down and a long seven, and the Hawkeyes do hold, and will get the ball back, should get it back in decent field position. DeBush steps into this punt. It's a low line drive. Jovan Johnson goes over and fields it at the 38 after a first bounce. Oh, There's a no. late flag as he's wrestled to the ground at the 45. That's exactly what it is. Well, come on, Drew Tate. Let's get this offense fired up. This is a, a defense that ranks near the last uh, bottom in the Big Ten. Drew's going to throw on first down. Good protection. Up the field. Has Clinton Solomon at the Badger 40 down to the 35-yard line. You suppose they can hear us? Well, and you know what? That Let's go. was great, great protection it was. by his offensive line. Alan Langford on the stop, the corner, but not before Solomon hauled it in. Never broke stride across midfield. And hopefully the Hawkeyes will before the afternoon is over. Tate, play action again, same play. Play action fake to Tate, goes to Solomon, makes the catch down at the 21. We're starting to see the Clinton Solomon of old. Yeah. He was a disappearing act in the first half. Iowa gets two first downs on two throws to Solomon back to back. Yeah, I think there might have been some chatting at halftime about stepping up and making a play. First and 10 at the Badger, 20. Now they need to finish the drive, seal the deal. Albert Young runs through a huge hole, 20, 15, 14-yard line. Roll out of bounds there. Brian Ferentz, Marshall Yonda, Ben Gates leading downfield with the blocking. Mike Elgin's out in front of Young as well. The whole offensive line on that power sweep to the right side. Second down and short. Second and three is audibleizing. Single receivers, Solomon and Hinkle each way. Out of the eye. They pitch it to Albert Young, right side. He gets the corner turn, gets close to the first down. 
I believe he's out of bounds, though, before he could get to the marker at the 11. On third down and less than a yard. When tight ends for the Hawkeyes, the power package. The give to Young. He bounces off a couple of tacklers, would-be tacklers, and drives inside the 10 to the 9. That's a Hawkeye first down. And that's Albert Young keeping his head up and his feet moving because there was nothing at the line of scrimmage, and he was just able to bounce. First and goal at the 9. Hawkeyes driving here on Wisconsin, their best-looking drive of the day. On a rollout, Tate rolls right, throws into the end zone, and it is bobbled and dropped by Clinton Solomon. Clinton Solomon with a bobble. He's trying to keep his feet in bounds, and then he crashed into the wall quite hard. Out of the end zone. He's slow to get up. Now he's up. He's a little shaky, a little woozy. Coming down in buckets now. Makes it difficult to throw the ball, let alone hand it off. Second down and goal. Here comes the blitz. Tate steps up in the face of that blitz, fires to the right sideline, and has Scott Chandler, the tight end, at the five. He was well covered by the cornerback, Rowan. Tate is in the shotgun. This is where you look for Eddie Henkel right here. Or Solomon, maybe the pop fly pass. Uh, he wants Solomon, fires left side. Oh, yes, Champ Davis out of the backfield, and it's a touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown, Iowa. And we have an injured Badger down on the field, back where Tate got rid of the ball. It's Matt Shaughnessy, the defensive end. Now, he's been bothered by a bad knee, and it appears that that's what the problem is again. There's a timeout on the field, but Eddie, I don't know where Champ Davis came from. It was a uh, protection package for, for Champ Davis. He just released out of the backfield. Well, they had both wide receivers on the left side run slants in. A tough kick for Schlicker, a tough hold for Fence to make her a tough snap, but here it comes. Kyle drills it through. Heck of a job. I don't think anybody understands, truly, unless you've played the game, Eddie, how difficult it is to make that snap and spot in weather like this, let alone the kick. Brent, check for me. That might be his first touchdown of the year unless he got one early on, like against a Ball State or somebody. Kick uh, by Schlicker sails out of the back of the end zone, aided by that westerly wind at the Badger 20. It's Stocko, eye formation, hands off on the draw to Brian Calhoun, and look at Mitch King drag him down from behind as Chad Greenway drilled him head on. Woo, boy, I like the way this team came out of the locker room, don't you? Well, there had to be a butt chewing going oh, on there because you and I were commenting, uh, it was just like uh, people running around in a fog out there. It just didn't look like the same yeah. Iowa team. A loss of five, it's second and 15, and Stocko forced to throw. Dumps it off to Calhoun. He's run down from behind by Greenway, Abdul Hodge, and Mitch King. Yeah. Four receivers in this formation. On third and nine, the Hawkeyes get pressure. Stocko rolls to his left, fires upfield, caught by Brandon Williams with a big cushion again, given by Antoine Allen, out of bounds at the 40. On third and nine, they get 19. And that time, the Hawkeyes go to zone. Stocko showed me something there, rolling to his left in the face of pressure and throwing across his body for the completion. Big time play. Here's Calhoun. They sweep the right side of the field. Abdul Hodge giving chase, slows Calhoun down. And then he's drilled by Jovan Johnson, who came up on the contain. Second down and six. Here's Calhoun on a delay handoff. Tries to string it out to the left side. Nothing doing. He, in fact, he might have lost a yard. Good contain again by the Hawkeye outside people. Three wide to the right side, one to the left, and stock back to pass. Steps up in the pocket, plenty of time. Now he's going to try and run for it and gets down and gets hit as he crossed the 45 by Mitch King. King was out of there for one play. Wisconsin, good job by Stocko of not putting it up in that rainstorm, and the Badgers will punt it away. Jovan Johnson standing back at his 15-yard line. Here come the Hawkeyes, and it is a wobbly kick by DeBush that hits at the 20-yard line, and it rolls. It takes a Wisconsin roll inside the 10 to the 7. Well, there's an all Big Ten punter for you. Drew Tate sends Henkel in motion. They give the ball to Albert Young. He gets the corner turn, 15, close to the 15-yard line, I should say, as he crosses the 10. Nice gain on first down. Rolled out of bounds, just shy of the 15. Stands back up with nine on the uh, snap clock. Everybody has the cadence and the signal. They give it to Albert Young over left guard and center, and Albert is thrown yeah. back for a loss of about two or three. Tried the middle, nothing doing. And I don't think you can call plays at the line of scrimmage here. You got to get them in the huddle and go with what you got. See if Brett Bielema blitzes here. Yeah, they're coming. 
Tate gets rid of it, throws it upfield, and over the head of the intended receiver, Clinton Solomon. So the Hawkeyes will have to punt it away from their own end zone. So now a, a motion penalty on the Hawkeyes, followed by an incomplete pass. And Fenstermaker has to punt it away from his own end zone. Brandon Williams at his own 45, has running room midfield. 46-yard line of the Hawkeyes. And he's dropped there by Miguel Merrick and Chad Greenway. Stocko breaks huddle. Sends White to the right. To the left is Brandon Williams. Out of the eye on first and 10. They run the quick draw to Brian Calhoun. He's grabbed and shoulder tackled. It's a strong arm tackle by Brian Madison. Kenny Awebama was there to clean up. To the top of the field is Brandon Williams, our go-to guy. Calhoun and Stocko fumbles the ball and falls on it. As he turned to back away from center, he didn't quite put the ball away, and it squirted away from him. That's that wet football you're talking about, Eddie. Look out for the screen. Third down and almost 16 for the first down from New Field for Wisconsin. Stock goes back to pass. The Hawks put the pressure on. He throws it away. Oh, Iowa poured through there. Led by Kenny Awebaba and Matt Kroll. And they crunch Stocko to the ground at the 30 of a deflected Drew Tate pass. Iowa's defense is really... Uh, played well throughout the afternoon. Here comes the DeBush punt taken by Jovan Johnson at the 14-yard line, and he's upfield to the 20. That's it. Goes straight forward, and the Hawks have 345 with which to work here in the third period with the win. The rain is uh, slow to a, a light fall right now. Nice touchdown drive here to end the third quarter would be in order. Tate on play action. Bullets a pass out to the right that's knocked down, deflected. Jumping up, timing his leap. Perfectly for Wisconsin was Kurt Ware. Or out of the play, you can jump up and knock it down. Stops the clock, second and ten. Drew's going to throw again. Looking right. Now he comes back to the left. Now he rolls right. Throws up the field and incomplete intended for Albert Young. I don't know what Wisconsin's doing. Oh, they pushed, they pushed Tate. We're going to get a rough oh, late, passer. Late flag Boy, that on was, Wisconsin. That was a disaster as far as patterns went. There's nobody open anywhere. He had all day. The late hit on Monty gives Iowa first and 10 at the Hawkeye 35 with 3.32 to go in the third quarter. Albert Young on a cutback right to left. Gains three on a first down run to the 38. I may have uh, misidentified Monty as the guy with the late hit. I think it was Nick Hayden, the defensive tackle, who gave him a little extra nudge there. Here's Young running through a big hole. Hops through left guard tackle. He's loose. Midfield 40. Down to the 35 of Wisconsin. Iowa's best running play of the day. Has the Hawks operating in Badger territory. First and 10. Yeah. Boy, they just wiped out the left side, didn't they? Mike Elgin. Or excuse me, Mike Jones. The left guard through the key block. First and 10. In a 10-10 football game. Two and a half minutes to go. Third quarter. Here's Young, straight up the middle. Big hole! He's in the Wisconsin secondary, down to the 21-yard line, where he's tripped up by Rodgers again. That's a gain of 15. All of a sudden, that Iowa offensive line is saying, enough is enough, let's get going on the ground. Well, they're finding something they like to the weak side. They're running away from the tight end. That much maligned Wisconsin defense, due to injuries and inexperience, has given up a ton of points and yards all year, but not today. Tate wants it all on play action to Solomon. End zone overled him just a little bit. Incomplete out the back of the end zone it goes. But that'll keep that Wisconsin defense at least respectful of the pass. He may be there. We'll double check those numbers. Here's the fake on the give to uh, Albert Young. And they do the wide receiver reverse to Clinton Solomon. Inside the 15, down to the 11. He's close to the first down and almost broke it for the touchdown. Yeah, he uh, kind of hesitated a little bit, trying to get a blocker out in front of him. Third down and one. The Hawks. Oh, at, we move. At the Badger 13. Here's a lob into the end zone. Wide open. Caught. Touchdown. Ryan Majerus. Touchdown, Iowa. The Hawkeyes have the lead. I hesitated for a moment. I heard Eddie Podolak say, we move. We got a break and there. And I was looking for a flag, but we I don't see any. We got a break there. The left tight end flinched, and they did not catch it. Bielema is beside himself over here. And Brett's not happy. I've never questioned your eyeballs. Uh, you know, I, I have never so happy questioned we your finally sight line. A break. Here's Schlicker's kick for a point after, and it's right through. The Hawkeyes, with two touchdowns in the third quarter, have taken the lead 17 to 10, 1 11 to play in the third period. Well, let's hope that Kyle Schlicker has enough breeze and toe to kick this thing over the head of Brandon Williams and out the back of the end zone again. 
It's a high sidewinding spiral now taken by Williams three yards deep in the end zone. He's going to run it out 10 15 20 zigzags his way across the 20 to the 21. The Hawks are ripping at that ball. Charles Godfrey on top of him. Andrew Becker downfield underneath. Well, he hasn't even broken a sweat. He's only carried it 21 times today. Stocko's going to throw on first down. Flings it to the left flat. Brandon Williams catches, but he's drilled by Chad Greenway and Antoine Allen immediately after about a two-yard gain, one minute to go third quarter. Second down. I would guess they'd run it here. Yeah, here's Calhoun, but nowhere to go. And he forces his way upfield for two or three. Actually made a whole lot more out of that than I thought. That gives you an idea of the strength. Force Ken DeBush to punt into that wind. Stocko's going to throw on third down. Drops it to uh, Brian Calhoun, who dropped it. The ball was actually thrown low, and Calhoun couldn't gather it in. Out in the right flat that time. He was open, but, uh, you know, that ball's slippery. It's yeah. cold. How about Javon's 45 yards deep into the wind with this punter? DeBush, he can really stick it. This one is not a very good kick as it hits at the 40 and goes out of bounds at the Iowa 40. DeBush just never really settled into that uh, effort. First and 10 Iowa. Let's see if Drew Tate or Kenny O'Keefe gets aggressive here with the win for one more play or two more plays. Tate hands off to Albert Young. He's going to run. Runs rough shot right over the top of Scott Chandler, who threw a pretty good block. Albert gets six on first down, and that'll be the end of the third period. The first play of the fourth quarter is second down and four for Iowa after Albert Young got six. He's up to 117 yards, but nothing there. As they run him into right guard, Wisconsin's trying to, or they will start stacking more people in the tackle box now to shut that run down. Chandler stands up now, goes in motion. Three other receivers in the formation. Tate rolls out to his left, throws on the run, and overthrows Herb Grigsby. He had him open. Well, that's the win. That's the win and a, and a wet ball running to your left. Punt nearly as well as DeBush did into the wind here in the fourth quarter. And this one's off the side of his foot. Oh, my goodness. A terrible punt by Andy Fenstermaker. Abhorrent. 17-10 Iowa. One minute gone in the fourth period. Out of the eye. Stocko on play action. Rolls back to his right. He's being bird dogged by Mitch King. Runs away from him for only a moment. And Mitch keeps up the motor on fast forward and he ran him down at the 32 that's a loss of three it goes as a sack for Mitch King I'll tell you Mitch King has had a highlight real afternoon up here has he ever one wide out and two tight ends in the formation for blocking Stocko back to pass nowhere to go he's sacked by Kenny Awabama down he goes at the 28 yard line Awabama beat all Big Ten tackle Joe Thomas there now this is where the Hawks have been letting the Badgers out of the closet third and long they throw the screen to Calhoun down he goes after a four yard gain oh what defense by the Hawkeyes and in particular Chad Greenway there Iowa's going to get the ball right back a middle screen sniffed out they got through a lot quicker than Stocker would have liked. He had to dump that ball sooner than he wanted to. Here's DeBush punting it. And this one is a beauty. Backing Javon Johnson up to his 16. Straight up the field comes Javon Johnson with a little daylight. Bounces off one, two tacklers. Across the 30, 35, 39-yard line for the Hawkeyes. Javon Johnson, a heck of a return from his own 16 to the 39. Thanks to the Iowa Beat producers and Papa John's Pizza for sponsoring today's delivery of the game. Tate's going to throw on first down. Play action. Fires to Scott Chandler, thrown a little bit behind him, incomplete. Up 17 to 10 with 12, just under 12 minutes to play in the game. Tate again retreats from center to pass, throws the screen to Albert Young. He's got blockers in front. Midfield, look out. 45, 40, cuts it back. He's at the 35, 30 yard line, down to the Badger 25. It'll be first and 10. Iowa has not run the screen a lot today, but they ran it to perfection there. What a beautiful call and what beautiful execution. And I'm going to tell you the block that uh, was thrown by Yonda out here is incredible. The Hawkeyes have it at the Badger, 26. One running back, three receivers. Chandler's in the slot to the left. They throw it to him. He gets to the outside, gets the corner turn, bangs his way across the 20 to the 17-yard line. That's a gain of eight on first down. And I like that call because what they're doing is they're cheating that linebacker and safety in. Two touchdowns in the third quarter. Now Iowa driving into the wind on second and short in the Badger red zone. Here's Damian Sims in the game, tries to stretch it to the outside, gets close to the first down. Damian Sims giving Albert Young a break. 
and he may have gotten to the marker. Sure looks like it. It is a two-yard gain. Tough two yards, but Damian Sims will take it. But it is first and 10 at the 15 for Iowa. Tate on play action. All kinds of time. Rolls to his left, now back to his right. Still running, still running, looking for room. Nowhere to go, and he's finally dragged down at the 20-yard line. That's a loss of five. Eddie Hinkle's in the game wide right. He's played a lot today. His first game back after the broken arm. Tate, seven-step drop, fires left side, has Solomon at the 15, and he's dragged down there, hogtied at the 14, holding on for dear life was Alan Langford, the corner, inside the Badger 15-yard line. Tate rolls to his right after being flushed from the pocket. Now he's looking, 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 fires back across his body, incomplete into the end zone, intended for Eddie Hinkle. Just good coverage by the Badgers in that end zone. This is a big, big scoring opportunity here for the Hawkeyes, would put him up 10. Snap is a little high, Fenstermaker gets it down, and Schlicker guts it right through the uprights. Iowa leads it by two scores, 20 to 10, 9.21 to go in the football game. Boy, and Williams is back there lurking by the goal line. Chomping at the bit. Well, he returned the last one from three yards deep in the end zone. You know he's going to run this one back. Oh, good strong kick by Schlicker. Williams again three, four yards deep in the end zone, and he takes a knee. Tight end right. One running back, Calhoun. Stocko's going to throw. Good protection. Now it breaks down, and Mitch King drills him again. Back at the 13-yard line. They're running that stunt. That crisscross, Mitch King lined up right that time, looped inside to the left, and had a free lane to the quarterback. Yeah, they lined him up on the outside of Wibbum on the inside, and then Wibbum went outside, he went inside, but that is coverage sack, too. Third down and 10, three, four receivers in the formation. Stocko heads back to his five-yard line, nowhere to go. Now he runs out to his right. He's sacked again by Kenny Awabama. He and Mitch King have been warriors here in the second half for Iowa. That's another sack on Stocko all the way back at the seven-yard line. And DeBush will punt from deep in his own end zone. This drive, a negative 22 yards in sacks they're by King and Awabama. They're faking the block so that they can hold him up, and it's a bad punt. But it takes a Wisconsin bounce across midfield, out of bounds at the 49. The Hawks have only half the field to go to get another score. This defense is really taking it out on Wisconsin's offense this afternoon. Hopefully it'll last. Tate is back to pass on first down. Swings it to Albert Young, and he gets nothing. Dust gets back to the line of scrimmage. Heck of a play by the middle linebacker, Zaluski. There'll be seven minutes to play in the game. 20 to 10, Iowa. Ball at the Hawkeye 49, second down 10. Tate throws left, caught by Chandler for a short gain to the Wisconsin 46. It'll be a gain of about uh, five. They stand the tight end up. That's Tony Moyaki. Look for him. They go in motion. Tate rolls out right, throws on the run. Has Clinton Solomon, and he's going to be very close to the first down. Just uh, shy I like of the, the way he's standing. It's going to be a first down. I like line. where this headlinesman is. I he like needed, it. He needed to get to the uh, 41, and it looks to be the 40. It is yeah. first and 10. Hawkeyes. <laughs> So good to finish this drive off with a score. Albert Young, big hole over right guard. He plows forward for seven. And that offensive line really asserting itself here in the second half. Five and a half to play in the game. Second down and short. They run Albert Young again on a zigzag move. He's got the first down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. And the chains will move again inside the Wisconsin, well, right at the 30-yard line. They're going to run Albert again. No, that's Damian Sims. In there to give Albert a break, and he plows forward over right guard and center for about a yard. Wisconsin pinching down inside now. Here's Tate keeping the clock running. Damian Sims runs through a, just a bitty hole between left guard and tackle and fights forward for perhaps a yard. Moyaki, the tight end, goes in motion. They hand the ball off to Damian Sims. He runs forward. First down! Oh, what a clutch run by Damian Sims, and what tremendous blocking by the Hawkeyes. Right back to that same play that's been so good all day. Running through a huge hole. Thrown uh, compliments of Mike Elgin. Here's Sims getting the corner turned. He's at the 15-10, still going. Well, maybe, maybe Kenny O'Keefe knows what he's doing. Keep Albert Young on the bench. Look at Damian Sims. He's getting stronger with every run. He's got a first down inside the 10 at the 7. That's a gain of 12 on first down. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go. Moeaki again in motion out of a tight eye. The handoff to Sims. He plows forward inside the 5, down to the 3-yard line. What excellent crisp blocking 
in particular the right side of the Iowa O-line all day long. They do have two timeouts left. The give is to the fullback. Tommy Bush, he dives forward. Oh, that's a dangerous leap of fair. Gets down to the uh, two-yard line, a gain of one on the U.S. cellular sideline. Well, then he's going to get the call here. You know it. Albert fights fumbled for the goal it. line. He fumbled it, and Wisconsin has recovered. Oh, boy. My goodness. You had a sure field goal on third and goal at the two. Wisconsin recovers the football, and that's where the Badgers have it. Let's see if the Hawks can get it right back on a turnover because you know they're going to throw the football, and they want the home run right away. Nope. As the receiver broke the pattern off, and Stocko threw it into the seats. And Brandon White, Stocko, retreats to his own end zone, flips it over the middle of Brian Calhoun, and he's ankle tackled nicely by Abdul Hodge at the 10-yard line, and they'll wind the clock as soon as they set the chains down. 47 seconds to play. Pressure Stocko. on the quarterback. You need, you need pressure. He throws downfield. He's looking for Brandon White. It's incomplete. And Jovan Johnson with excellent downfield coverage. Second down and 10 of the Badger, 24. Stocko back to pass. Iwa Bima, Iwabama drew a beat on him, but missed him. He overran him, and uh, good play by... Uh, Iwabama to force Stocko to throw it sooner than he wanted to Calhoun. 29 seconds to go. They've used their final timeout. Stocko's got to try and get the home run going here. Follett's chasing Stocko out of the pocket, and Stocko throws it away. He bought himself a fourth down there, but Follett almost got him on the ground. I'll tell you, Follett was unstoppable there. There's, se there's uh, seniors and juniors out there galore. Well, this that bench is going to go crazy if we hold him here. Fourth down and five. Bench. Stocko's back to pass throws over the head of the linebacker and it's caught by Brandon Williams at midfield so the Badgers keep the ball well they deserve a little celebratory mood today here's Stocko straight back to pass out of the shotgun fires at left side and it is caught caught at the 29 yard line by Brandon White he kept a foot in 10 seconds to go in the game Stocko in under center Riola Donovan Riola and he's straight back to pass Hawks get some pressure Stocko steps up receiver Jonathan Orr and that that ball sailed because you missed Jonathan Orr. He's almost 6'5". Five. Uh, five seconds to go. We're down to the last play of the football game. Last play of the game, we hope. Stocko, out of the gun. Deep drop. Throws to the end zone. Last play of the game. Throws it in the end zone. It is incomplete. Knocked away by Jovan Johnson. Hey, and that Heartland Bull is heading back down Highway 151. Well, today they played outstanding. Coming back from a 10-0 deficit on the road amidst all this emotion on senior day Barry Alvarez final game on the Wisconsin sideline and the Hawkeyes spotted the Badgers a 10 nothing lead but they stuck to the game plan got the running game going with Albert Young in that third quarter and that really turned the tide and the Hawks roar back with 20 unanswered points and defeat Wisconsin 20 to 10 and that ends the Badgers 11 game win streak here at Camp Randall